Hi all. For today's video, we are focusing on the Azure Resource Group. So, because we are moving on the real-time scenarios, right? So, then we know the deep knowledge of the each and every component of Azure. Then only you are become an, uh, like an architect or the Azure cloud architect, that kind of position. Because if you, as a data engineer, we are responsible to solve the client problem and identify the problem of the client. Then uh, suggested this is the optimized solution for your particular problem, right? So that is the reason we are need to do, we are need to know the end-to-end -end solution in an optimized way. So today I will focus on the Azure resource group. So uh, because when we start on the hands-on experience, definitely we want to know about the Azure resource group. Do you know what is Azure resource group? Okay, no worries. I will tell you. The Azure resource group is kind of a logical grouping because once you create, for example, I am creating one Azure resource group. So, for example, dev, dev, Azure, dev, Azure resource group. Okay. So, this is my resource group. So, I am working in a development environment. I have, for example, in my project, I have five layer, uh, dev, test, um, then it move on the SIT means after the testing we need an approval. So that is SIT. Um, oh, one more layer we can implement QAT, SIT, then fraud. So these are the layers I have in my project, for example. Okay. So uh, when I implement all these things in the dev, I need to move into the test environment. Then after the testing, I move into UAT, then SIT, then fraud. So that is my path. Because the first dev means where I can, as a developer, as a data engineer, I can create my optimized solution here. Once I get the approval, I can move into a test environment with the help of testers approval. Then if the tester is approval, there is a group of testers need to approve. Maybe UAT is not need SIT. Then the higher tester also approved and they uh, check the coming scenarios and everything as a real life context, they check because we are moving. This is the step moving in before the prod, right? So uh, when we moving the item into the prod, definitely it would be perfect and would not affect any other code in others deployed. So that is the reason we are doing this intermediary testing environment also. For example, my project, uh, for I have a requirement to want to convert all the things in an Azure Synapse. So that is my requirement. So what I did for Azure Data Factory, for a simple requirement, I want to convert a CSV files to Parquet. Okay, so this is my requirement. I am getting some CSV files. I, I want to convert it or I am getting some Excel file. I want to convert into the Parquet and move into the higher level actually some sun, some transformation i want to do here need to arrange and daytime conversion so that time that thing i will add here as a transformation and i convert and store in a parquet format this is more flexible type of format we can store the data so that is the reason we are converting in this normally parquet as is an intermediate step we are uh, storing so there are different format other that we can discuss in the later video so the CSV file will be uploaded, then I want to convert into the parquet. So here I can use the Azure Data Factory. So I am using ADF Azure Data Factory to transform my CSV files into parquet file. I think hope you're get. So this is my requirement. So I am doing this with the help of I need one CSV file, CSV file. CSV, second one, a storage account to store the data like blob storage and then need an Azure Data Factory, ADF for transformation. Then the uh, transformer data I again want to store in an another, another storage account, another blob account I need. Okay, so this is converted as a parquet format. Okay, this is converted as a parquet format. So 
this is my the five step so as a developer as a data engineer um engineer i did these things i got the approval so in this transformation i need some kind of implementation in the resource group i want a storage account that means blob storage account first one then i want an adf for example for a simple thing i want adf so this dev group when i create a resource group i converted there in the particular storage account i created adf i created under this resource group okay under this dev resource group so this is my first resource group i created then what i got the approval so my file is converted i stored in there then i move into the power bi that's okay so then i got the approval from my tester then what i did i can move into the i can create another resource group that is test resource group then i move all the data i move all the data to this where okay so sorry okay i move all the data to uh, here so what happened this is another resource group this one is another resource group so under this resource group i can create my uh, storage account adf etc so this is the category because dev is a resource group it's a category uh, is a structure which holds some kind of services which help to uh, fulfill our requirement so that is the resource group is a category is a logical partition i can say that is a logical partition of a services logical partition it is a logical partition which helps to uh, fulfill our uh, requirement so this is our first case and next one is what is the use so we grouped it and this is our project my project it was um, what i can csv conversion okay my project name name csv conversion it is a part of one big project so it will take uh, one it will take that project will take the entire project there are some lots of things will happen that entire project will happen uh, will take the duration of one month okay so it start from the october october 1 to october 31st so this is my scenario okay so after that what this project is completed i move this i created a dev resource group test resource group and prod resource group i will create the prod resource group prd i'm creating one sit okay you can mention sit also sit so everything completed then what happened after the pod deployment after pod deployment project need to close right need to close so that means month of november onwards we don't want to because our our uh, project completed our data already reached in the power bi so don't need to again this data so we don't want after the november onwards we don't want to need resource group because our data completed so what we can do we can delete the resource group delete this resource group from there so delete it so when we delete the resource group what happened we can save the cost because our requirement completed and the, all the things completed so we don't want to delete the services so if you delete simply delete go and delete the dev resource group in a single click and go and click on the test resource group in a single whatever the service are available don't want to go and uh, delete in one by one it will take some time right so don't need go just go and take the delete delete resource group touch 
delete resource to SI to delete resource to everything happen. So that will save our cost. I think hope you're clear. So this is the importance of the Azure group. So a uh, lot of services are Azure for whatever we want for fulfill our requirement, we group the in a particular logical group. So I think hope you're clear. So we can move on the Azure portal. So we can log in Azure portal login. So you can see here Azure portal. So my portal is already open. So my credit limit already here. You can see I'm using a free account, free trial for one month. So first one you can see here the create resource group. Click on it. Click on it. And I already created one resource group. Not need. So create. Okay. Here you can say click on create. Create and the basic. The resource group, a container called related resource on the Azure solution. I will. Okay. Uh, include all the all the resource solution only those or resources are you want to manage as a group you decide how to want to allocate resources to resource group based on the what make the most sense in your organization so i'm using the free trial so i'm creating my resource group i'm creating dev environment csv Dev environment. I can make it dev environment. Then next one is very important region. So choose the Azure region, the right for you and your customers. Okay. Because my customers, for example, my customers from India. Okay. I'm from India. My customers are from India. Then what I do, I'm from Kerala. Then my customer is from Tamil Nadu or Hyderabad. So what I need. Because my, the after my after my development, they want to use it, right? So I need to choose the correct means near the senders are available to the customers available. So that is the reason choose the Azure region that's right for you all and your customers. So that is the reason. So for example, in my case, we can use the region is very important. So uh, when coming into the region, the region Azure location. So, how we can choose? We can do Azure Geographies. Okay. So, the Azure Geographies, these are the items are available. For example, Asia Pacific, Asia, Australia, China, India, Indonesia, Japan, Korea, Malaysia, New Zealand, Taiwan. So, I am clicking on the India. So, because my customers are in the from Chennai or Tamil Nadu. So, there are locations. Central India, Pune. South India, Chennai, and Hyderabad. This is coming soon. Okay. So these are the two regions are available right now, year open, and the availability zone because disaster recovery. Okay, that I will show you. The cross region replication in the Azure because any disaster, because the data centers are, for example, this is the data center, the zone in first time, some flood or the earthquake happen. If this region will destroy, okay, the destroy will happen. What we can do, the reason, replica we can share to the availability sound too. So this will help you recover or store all the data of you in Azure. So that, that is the reason we are don't, uh, don't fear about the loss of our valuable data when we moving into the Azure. I think hope you're clear. So this is also very important. So uh, data residency stored in rest of the India. Disaster recovery. Cross region options are available. Product by region and the availability. All customers and partners or customers. This is available. So I definitely I will choose Chennai. Okay. Because South India, my customer is from Chennai. So that is the reason I'm definitely it will take from the South India. So moving on this one. South India. South India. So I am choosing this one. Then create, review and create button. You can click on it. Then the subscription is free trial, resource group, dev, environment, South India. Then create. My resource group is created. You can ping this resource group, ping to the dashboard. 
okay my dashboard ping it okay so my dashboard you can see here resource group dev environment So it will take some time. You can see here thing in the what are the things we did? We can see here. Or we can go to the resource group. Okay, I will show you form. Resource group. When you click on the dev environment resource group, you can see uh, what are the activities we can activity log, activity overview. Subscription free trial. Policies, everything we can display here. And then another option. Once we completed, once our deployment completed, you can go and click on this delete resource group. Type of the resource group name and delete it. Then it will not affect the cost of your Azure portal. Okay. I think hope you are clear. Th this how we can create this resource group. Before we starting into hands on, definitely you want to create a resource group. So, yeah, we can move on to the next video. We will see you further. Bye, guys.